Welcome to Web Squared 5 Tutorials. In this video, you will learn how to handle Web Square components. You can control components by setting properties or by adding actions for a certain event or using methods provided by Web Square 5. Let us see how to set the properties of each component. Click the palette and add an input box. For a better view, we add style to the input box. We will cover how to style the components in another video of this tutorial. Click the red arrow button. You can enter numbers, alphabets, and Korean characters in the input box. Click the input box and go to the property view on the right. The list of the properties of the input box is shown on the property view. Let us add a placeholder to the input box. For example, enter a number. Save and reload the page. The input box shows the defined placeholder message. Now, let us define the initial value of the input box. Set the init value property as 45678. Save and reload the page. You can see the initial value is already set in the input box. And, let us receive only numbers in the input box. To do so, you have to set the data type as number. Save. And, reload the page. Alphabets and Korean characters are not entered. Instead, only numbers can be entered. Now, define the format in a way to add comma every three digits. For this purpose, use display format property. Save and reload the page. The format is applied to the initial value. If you enter a new number, a format is applied, but only after you move the focus out of the input box. But, we'd like to see the format being applied during the input. In order to do this, set apply format property as all. Save and reload the page. You can see the defined format being applied during the input. Click a component on the design view and go to the property view. The list of the properties of the selected component will be displayed. You can search certain properties or by clicking the values field, you can sort the properties with the defined values. Secondly, let us see how to add actions to a certain event. We are going to add a trigger component next to the input box. In order to add events, you have to define the IDs of the components. Define the ID of the input box, for which we are going to define actions that will occur upon an event in the trigger component. In this case, the onClick event of the trigger. Right click the trigger and select event and onClick. The script view automatically opens and the function for the onclick event is created. What you have to do is to define actions that will occur upon an onclick event of the trigger. Add actions in JavaScript. In this example, let us set the value of the input box. Use the API methods provided by WebSquare 5. The trigger has red dot which means it has an event added 
and also by right-clicking the trigger, you can see the on-click event has been added. Save and reload the page. If you click the trigger button, you will see the defined value is set in the input box. Thirdly, using methods provided by WebSquare 5, the API methods, events, and properties provided by WebSquare will be explained in a separate video. Go to the script view and directly add JavaScript code. This example is to show an alert message upon a page being loaded. Save and reload the page. You can see the alert message is displayed. Now, let us add another code. To set the input box value as 3456 upon the page being loaded. Save and reload the page. The alert message is displayed and the input box value is set as defined upon the page loading. Moreover, by clicking the trigger, you can still see that the event action being executed. Thank you for watching.